Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm starting a new kind of sort of short-term project pan, and it's one I've actually created on my own. I'm deciding to call this the Petty Project Pan, and I envisioned this as like a six-month project. I'm gonna be posting this intro video like a little early. Um, I envisioned this starting a July 1st and going all the way through December 31st. I wanted to give myself like enough time to use these products without feeling like in a rush to just only use these products and only these in my collection. I am dedicating myself to keeping these in my everyday makeup basket and reaching for them more over some other products because they, they need some love. These are products in my collection that for petty reasons I either don't reach for, don't like, and don't want to declutter. <laughs> and that's why it's called the Petty Project Pan. I, uh, I picked five products for this which I thought would be a good um, amount of products for a project like this and I'm going to be doing monthly updates between now and December. I think the finale will probably be, I'm not going to set an actual end date, it'll just be sometime in December before the end of December. <laughs> All right so let's jump into the products I picked from a Petty Project Pan. So the first product in here and for each product I'm going to have different panning goals. My goal isn't going to be to completely use up every single product in this um, in this project because that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to just get more use out of these. But for this one, I think it's going to be, I don't want to say easy, but I think it's going to be easier to completely pan this than some other products in my collection. And this is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. The petty reason that this is in this project is because it's just not as good as the regular putty primer. Like to be quite honest, when I'm going through my primer drawer and I want to pick a putty primer to use, the original is just amazing. It's just it's a great putty primer and if I don't reach for the original elf I do have putty primers from, from some other brands as well so to be honest when I'm looking at putty primers from elf the other one's just better which is why I never really reach for this one um, I do have some use in here I actually kept the little dial from my Tatcha that I'm going to keep in here to scoop out the product but I do have some use in this so it's not completely brand new um, but it's not a lot of use so my goal is to be just have this completely finished by December, which I do not think is going to be a problem at all. I don't remember how long it took me to pan the, because I did go through a regular full size regular putty primer from e.l.f. And I know I did not. I don't think it took me six months. So I don't think this is going to be a problem. The next product in my Petty Project Pan is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And the petty reason behind this is um, it's just okay. Yeah, like I got this because everyone was raving about Charlotte Tilbury and I finally wanted to try some products like, you know, on my own and see whether or not they actually live up to the hype. This is definitely one that did not live up to the hype. It is a bronzer and it is a highlighter and it's just like, like I said, it's just like, okay, but like, I'm too petty to want to declutter this. Like, I want to use it now. Like, I bought it and I'm like, oh, it's just okay. Now I want to use it, <laughs> you know, just to get the money's worth out of it because this was way too much money for what it was. Um, and now I, I want to petty pan it. Let's petty pan this. Um, so this is the bronzer, which is probably more of a contour on my skin tone um, and a highlight. My goal for this is just going to be to hit pan. I want to hit pan in both of these to get some good use out of this product. I do have to say, though, um, I do like the actual size of the compact and has a nice big size mirror I can actually do makeup in so we'll see if in my everyday makeup basket I just pull it out to use like as a mirror and then I'll reach for it more often for the actual products but that's product number two the next product is actually another highlight now it, it might seem a bit ambitious to have two highlights in here but this one's a mini this is a little mini highlight from Kevin Aquan and I pulled this out in my everyday makeup basket a couple of weeks ago and I just need to use this up. I'm pretty sure I've used up the bronzer because this was a little mini duo. If I can find a picture, I'll throw it up right here. But it was a mini duo of like a bronzing powder and then this highlighter. And it's tiny and it's a decent highlighter. But to be honest, I don't need to spend Kevin Aquan money to find a good highlighter, right? And the petty reason this is in here or why I don't use this is because it's not only is it a single pan highlight, which I rarely reach for in the first place. It's a mini single pan highlight that I never reach for. <laughs> so at this point, I just need to use this up. And since it's a mini and I already have a dip in it, I don't think it's going to show up on camera. But if I put my finger in, I do already have a dip in this. So I think it's going to be fairly easy to hit pan once I'm using this daily. I think I can use up this whole mini by December. I think I don't think it's going to be a problem, to be quite honest. It is a really pretty just kind of like light gold, very light gold 
highlight, which looks great on my complexion. As pale as I am, this looks fantastic. So I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble reaching for this every day. Um, I am gonna have to keep it in a little mini Z palette. This one has the two other highlighters I pulled out in my um, last everyday makeup basket. But once this month is done, I'll probably just move back these two highlighters and keep just this one in here. I think this is my smallest little um, Z palette. If I find a smaller one, I might put it in there. But for now, this is what we're working with. All right, next product that I am going to, I'm going to try to fully pan this because to be honest, I already have pan in this. It's really just a matter of finishing it up. This is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Frog. Um, my favorite shade of all time in this formula is the shade Sailor. Um, and I believe it's still available. Um, but back when I thought it was discontinued, I purchased Frog because this was like the next closest dupe for that shade. It's a really pretty shade. It's like a um, light pink shimmer that has little flecks of like blue and green in it. It's really gorgeous. Uh, the petty reason it's in here is because the packaging of these makes it so it's really hard to just not even really hard. It's annoying. It's annoying to have to store these and pull them out and use them individually. Um, and I'm trying to get around that. The next petty reason is ever since I hit pan, it is just like it's harder to use because it's so squishy and it just goes around the edges and it's messy. So I need to finish this. I just need to go ahead and finish this product up and get it out of my collection. So um, I already have a good amount of pan in this. I really don't think it's going to be a problem once I actually sit down and like dedicate myself to use this. And I do think this is actually a perfect tone and a perfect shade to use with my pan that palette which is the lila palette if you missed my pan that palette update so far i'll throw that playlist up in the cards but i think this is going to be perfect to use with my um with my pan that palette especially because i'm trying to focus on the mattes in that palette so if i can bring out an outside shimmer to use with those even better and last and uh, maybe least <laughs> the last product i'm including in my petty project pan is this bullet lipstick from urban decay this is the urban decay something something this is the urban decay bullet lipstick in the shade fuel it's a cream lipstick and honestly packaging 100 percent. this is gorgeous um the shade i am wearing today it's just slightly darker of a nude than i was kind of hoping for this isn't I i'm gonna try and make it an everyday nude but for me this is almost a little too dark and a little too orange to be like an everyday nude right but i think especially for like working days if i tone down the eyeshadow a little bit i can make this an everyday lipstick and to be honest i have used it a bit um this is everything i have left so I know the bullets was a lot larger when I first got this, but this is also years old and I need to finish this up. The petty reason that this is here is because I never use bullet lipsticks. I don't reach for them. And even when I do reach for them, I tend to reach more for actual, true, more neutral, nude, cool tone nudes. Not something that's like this kind of darker, at least on my skin tone, darker and warmer because it kind of throws off my eye look. And I like to go bigger on the eye look and simpler on the lipstick. Um, so I'm gonna challenge myself to use up this whole thing, honestly. I think I might struggle. This probably might be the, the hardest one because I'm, I just really don't reach for bullet lipsticks. But this is really comfortable. I have to say it doesn't transfer too much. So I'm going to just dedicate myself to seeing how often I can wear this. And we'll see if I can finish this. I'm going to put it on my forehead because that's the brightest canvas I have. I'm going to see if I can finish this by the end of this year. So there we have it. Those are all the products that I'm going to be panning in my new Petty Project Pan. Thank you guys for watching. If anyone else, if you are on YouTube, if you've got a channel, if you've got an Instagram page, or if not, if you just want to join from the sidelines and you want to do this project, please do. I will have all of my rules and everything in the description box down below along with the timeline and my reasoning behind why I picked each product. I would love to see other people do this kind of Petty Project Pan and get some more use out of those products that maybe you're not reaching for as often or or you just can't let go but you don't also you just use as much <laughs> if you do participate and you put up a video or post on instagram please tag me i want to watch your videos i want to like your instagram posts and follow your journey as well this is my instagram page feel free to reach out to me and send me your video links there or here in the comment section on youtube i do my best to um comment heart and respond to every comment that i get because i absolutely love the community here on youtube that we've been able to create and i love getting to talk to you guys Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.